back here on First Up, the first stop in your busy day, and we're going to be focusing on investments and making money. And to help us do that, we've got two very qualified gentlemen from the Unitrust Corporation. A special good morning and welcome to Chris Marcus, Vice President of Investments Management, and to Justin Silva, Manager Treasury at the Unitrust. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank now, you when much. you leave here, we're supposed to, you know, uh, be able to manage our wealth much better, right? Well, what we'll try to do is to at least guide you in terms of what we see as a you know, good investment philosophy, good investment strategy. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to break it down in a simple terms, so essentially break it, for the, break it down for the population at large to get a sense as to what investments are really about. Mm -hmm. Risk and return, stability, uh, value investing, etc. But all of that can be done in 15 minutes, but we'll do our best to start off um, at least by introducing the fact that we're here and we're very happy. Um, for the opportunity for the, to speak on behalf of the unit trust and really give the company, the, the public, an opportunity to understand exactly what has been taking place as far as the world is concerned, the economic environment, and um, what we are doing and responding to that. Now, over the next couple of months, we will be doing this on a regular basis in terms of getting the public more aware of what investing is about, the investment climate, as well as... Uh, as, well as um, opportunities. opportunities that would come from time to time and exactly how to interpret them. Now, then, you, you two gentlemen are poised coming from a company yeah. such as the Unit Trust Corporation, which has been a stable financial entity That's through correct. rough correct. times in Trinidad and Tobago over yes. the past how many years? Tw 19, 19 years. 19 years, 19 years. 19 years. almost 20 years. That's the the Unit Trust has been, has been very, very stable. That's correct. Uh, is Trinidad and Tobago, because I know in the US and the UK, people generally tend to look at their fortunes down the road in terms of investment. We had a tendency in the past to look at savings. Are we moving more in that direction in Trinidad and Tobago through the work of the U uh, uh, corporations like the UTC? Well, the answer is yes. Um, the reality of it is that the unit trust, first of all, was incorporated in 1982, and it really was intent on putting power, economic power, in the average man's hands. We have moved away from the, the we are investment, we are an investment entity. Every unit holder is an investor, and some, the, the, one may argue that the public is, may not be aware that they are in fact investors. Um, having said that, uh, the movement has been, away, has been one away from savings onto investments in terms of mutual funds, stocks and bonds, etc. So you're correct. I think you could also argue um, that the current environment more or less um, pushes um, people to out of their safety zone. Um, no longer um, can we just save um, how to, in a savings account. Um, due to the lower interest rate environment, people more or less have to come out of their comfort zone and to look into different asset classes, just as Chris um, mentioned, mutual funds, bonds and stocks, if they are going to preserve their wealth. There is a misnomer that you, have, you need large amounts of money to get into investment in Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, it, they, that has been the case in the past. Uh, how, how can you uh, intonate to the public, uh, Justin, just what is necessary on behalf of individual citizens? Because I guess that's what it comes down to, really taking their future in their hands and investing in, in the UTC. And well, just to reiterate what Chris mentioned, um, the Unitrust Corporation was founded to put economic power into the average person's hands. So, no, you do not need um, a large amount of money to begin investments. You can save um, your... Um, the key thing is to save um, a little bit, 10% um, of your monthly salary um, is the um, international benchmark um, to begin your own investment portfolio portfolio to start saving, that's what's recommended, and that is um, at minimum what you need. But I mean, to bring it in a, into a more local context, I mean, on the way here, I saw one of our billboards, and one, the minimum investment is $100 for, the, for the, the TT Income Fund. Now, the TT Income Fund is, quite frankly, the largest fund that we have available to the public, and, by which, and that really has to do with the investor participation in this fund. Um, it is not by coincidence that out of 17.5 in assets under 17.5 billion in assets under management that this fund represents 10.05 percent and when you take into consideration into consideration the risk profile of this particular fund it, it typifies the average Trinidadian investor who is generally risk averse and they want to get a return preserve their capital and not have to worry at night Let's look at what's happening with the TNT economy. We've right. been through a tough couple of years, mm -hmm. and uh, some are predicting that things will get better mm -hmm. in 2011. We may experience some growth. Uh, it may not be 
as high a digit as we would like to see, but there may be some positive growth this year. Is the TNT economy a good safe bet for someone wanting to do something positive with their money to make it grow? Well, I mean, to add some, some flavor to what you had said, the issue of economic growth. Our economy is projected to grow at a rate of 2.3%. And against a background of what is taking place on the international scene, case in point, Brazil, China, and some of the other emerging, emerging market economies that are now the world drivers of economic growth, 2.3% is, for lack of a better term, modest. Having said that, there are opportunities in the local market um, on the, in, the, in the equity market, for example, the local stock market, you have opportunities in the current environment where you're not seeing much capital appreciation. You'd want to look at high, high dividend paying stocks as well as government bonds. And again, these are securities that form, find themselves resident in the, in the, the, the various portfolios of the, of the unit trust um, funds under management. So we have the opportunities there, but admittedly, in the, having said what we have to say about the local market is very important for us to understand the need for diversification. To the extent that these opportunities have not pre, will not be presented themselves in, 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 in abundance, as we would have seen in the past, um, we, have to look, we have to look north, we have to look east, we have to look west. And um, as part of our need and understanding of the, 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 the importance of diversification, um, we have actually moved into the international arena by introducing the international suite of funds, where we have been able to capture growth and the, and the economic fortunes of these new drivers. So the unit trust has understood the need for diversification in and out of Trinidad and Tobago, and we have done so in terms of what funds we have available to the public. Just as a, yes, Justin, you wanted oh, to sorry, add? Sorry, I just wanted to add to what Chris mentioned. Um, I think Trinidad and Tobago has also found itself in a situation right now where uh, we more or less need to position ourselves um, for, to leverage opportunities which are happening abroad. And this, of course, calls for investments um, to take place. Whether or not um, that could be undertaken by the private sector is, uh, is another, argue, another um, point for debate. Um, but the point is, is that um, the government, of course, will have to um, create a lot of activity in the capital market. And we've seen this recently with WASA issuing their zero coupon bond. Um, privately, Guardian Holdings has also done a restructuring. So there are opportunities that will come up because we will see the investment happening because growth has to come from somewhere and that will create opportunities for our investors. Just as a matter of interest, um, did Unitrust take a great deal of licks in terms of its international portfolios over the last couple of years when uh, we had the, 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 well, yeah, the economic fallout? Well, the answer is no. Um, having taken a view of understanding the need to diversify your portfolios, even in circumstances where we would have had investments in some of those areas, because we, we, are, we adhere to a 10% limit in terms of 10% of our funds, in an, no more than 10% of our funds in any one investment, uh, we, are, we, have, we have been able to insulate ourselves from any of those shocks. Um, as well as being able to capitalize when the growth opportunities come. Now, a true investor must be able to capitalize in any environment, an up market and a down market. So when you find yourself in a situation where it is the market is down and you are seeing what they have referred to as external shocks, it's important for you to take a look, step back, take a look and understand exactly where it is you're going as far as where, where this investment is going, where the opportunities are. Is it the right time to exit, um, re-enter? Um, average down to use some econo to, to use some investment terms and really reposition and understand the environment. It's very important for you to be active, active in terms of your management of your portfolio and investments, largely as a consequence of the dynamic environment that now presents itself. Uh, the unit trust has done the same thing for the last 19 years. You've only found a better way of doing it. In terms of, because uh, uh, we know you're going to be back on a regular basis to help sure. people understand the process mm -hmm. of investment and what it can accrue for them and their finances. Mm -hmm. But I know in terms of its reputation, mm -hmm. the Unit Trust is one of the most sturdy, if not the, the sturdiest uh, corporation for investment in Trinidad and Tobago. Sure. Uh, how can you elucidate to us uh, the, the types of returns people have been able to, to gain in our last two minutes over the last 19 years if they invested per se for the last 10 years, as well, an example? <clears throat> That can be answered in two folds. I mean, first of all, an investor has to understand what he's looking for, growth or income. If you want growth, one might have experienced the greatest fortunes in a growth and income fund, the first scheme, the, the, our flagship fund. 
uh, that fund has a composition of equities which typically gives you a higher return um, in, 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 in up markets as well and that fund is also a balance fund where that fund has a component of, of, of bonds. So in that circumstance if you want growth and capital and upside potential that is where your, your greatest opportunity would have presented itself. On the second scheme or the TT income fund side you get a longer term, you get the, what they refer to as the value investing, the, 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 the less volatile, the guaranteed returns, the, the good balance, the good balance, the high liquidity, you can enter and exit. Um, but again, and that is, made up of, that is made up of predominantly fixed income securities, government bonds, cash and near cash equivalents, essentially a fund for you to really Put take, as a put, take as a nest egg and when you decide you may want to do something you may want to get in and you may get out of it as well but and again that fund has really been a, a typical of what the average Trinidadian investor looks for Gents, we've run out of time, but um, this is just the first in many classes in investing wisely, courtesy the Unit Trust Corporation here on a First Up, the first up in your busy day. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. And uh, they'll be back with us uh, again very, very soon. We've got to go to the Senior Center, get the latest, and then we come back with more on First Up.